Let's recite, recite the Apostles' the Creed. Creed. Um, so if, if you, you can, can do it with your eyes closed. closed. Ready? One, two, three. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. They seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let's give God the glory. And let's greet each other. Don't each other say good morning. Say good morning. Uh, I know it's a, a long weekend and uh, it's, uh, it takes some effort for you to be here. So uh, I want to appreciate, I, I want to thank you and I really appreciate you being here. Uh, let's, let's give God the glory one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I do realize that, uh, uh, you know, uh, as the time passes, uh, I realize more and more uh, how precious uh, for us to really have a house and come and worship, and especially a day like today, and maybe uh, next few days it's going to be really hot uh, coming to a place that has uh, air conditioners. And I just cannot imagine, you know, a hundred years ago people lived without air conditioner. Uh, can you imagine? Uh, can you imagine day like today? You know, they did have a worship hundred years ago, having you know a thousand people gathered together, you know, in a place. How they do that in the summer? How they do that uh, without it? Uh, so, so we, we have, have so, so many things. So, so we, sh we, should we should really be thankful to God. God. Don't you think? Amen. Amen. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, Anyways uh, you know, uh, uh, as, as the, the time, time passes, 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 I really, real, I, get I get older and older. And more, time goes faster, goes faster and faster. Do you realize that? I mean, time goes faster and faster and faster. And faster. I, remember I remember when I was young, young just looking at the sky, and time goes so slow. And now oh, it's just, it's just like, open, open my eyes or not open, open my eyes or not, like, like you know. <laughs> uh, so, so already, already, already September, September and, and 2024 is, is really passing, passing by quickly. Um, so, so I want to talk to you, uh, the, the third, third chapter, chapter of Screwtape Planner by C.S. Lewis. Lewis. Uh, uh, it's, it, 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 I feel I really uh, incompetent uh, to, to translate, translate or convert the uh, this is the screw tape letter into a sermon. Uh, so uh, sometimes it, 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 I feel very inadequate. But anyways, today we're going to do the third one um, uh, about, uh, uh, about change and loving the people who are unlovable. Um, so uh, let, me, let me show you a video, uh, a video of something that I, I, I found out. Uh, you know, uh, as the time passes, uh, there's one thing that really changes without any exception. Do you know what that is? As time passes, something just always changes. Do you know what that is? Huh? Huh? You? Yeah, you change. Yeah, yeah, you change. Uh, your appearance changes. Uh, so I was going to show your young, young, you know, ten years ago and. Now, uh, but I think it could be uh, offensive. So, uh, so I looked up on the YouTube, tried to find uh, uh, to replace people. So I want to show you a video and see what you feel. Can you show the video, please? Can you turn off the light? Something really funny. Do you know who that is? Huh? Do you know who this is?
Do you know him? He changed. Do you know who that is? That's the old James Bond. Anyway, stop that. Uh, we we watch for two hours. <laughs> do you do that? You know, once you start watching it, you just keep coming. You know? Um, um, you know, um, people change as time goes. So look at the person sitting next to you and, and tell you, you change quite a bit. Huh? It, 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 don't we change? Uh, um, yeah, we change quite a bit. Uh, I mean, as you age, uh, there are, there are, I mean, I don't have time to show you, but there are some some, some like, like like some really, really handsome, handsome people, people changing. changing. Uh, you, you know, there there, there are, are two ways uh, getting old. I think. Did, did you, you notice, notice some people when they get old, they become, become ugly. ugly. <laughs> they <laughs> just downright <laughs> ugly. And then, and then there, there are, are some people, people when they get old, old they look better. Do, do, do you notice, notice that? that? You, you, you know, know, some, some people, people as they get old, older. How do you say they become? Huh? Aged, aged like, like fine, fine wine. wine. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know, know what fine, fine wine is, but, but anyways, they, they age really well. well. Huh. I mean, I mean, like, like uh, the like, uh, Bronson? Bronson? Bronson. Didn't, didn't he get? get he, looks he looks really good as he get aged, age, right? But, but you, you know, know, some some, some people, people when they get aged, how how the opposite? They age, they become sour wine. <laughs> and and some, some people, you know, some, some people, people, I mean, uh, so, so I want, I want to talk to you about changing, uh, changing as, as people, you know, uh, so, um, I think outside changing uh, is not as important as inside changing. Uh, some people, uh, when they get older, uh, their, their inner, inner beauty becomes more pronounced. Some, some people, when they get older, uh, they become, they become, huh? Cranky. Cranky. I, thought I thought he said freaky. I would say, yes, freaky. <laughs> freaky. <laughs> I mean, I mean have, have, you, have you noticed some, some, some older, older people, people when you talk and, and, you know, you get, you get, you get, you feel the respect, respect you know, and, uh, and from, from your, your heart. heart. But, but some, some old people, people when you talk to them, them you just you, you can, can I mean, I mean you, you cannot express it, but inside you become condescending. It's, it's like, like, oh, I don't want to be old like, like that. that. So, so there, there must be a there must be a, a, a reason why some people become older and better, some people become older and worse. Isn't it? You know, that's I want I want to talk to you then. Uh, so uh, I mean, I mean bottom, bottom line, line is, is we, we want to be better when we get older. In not, not only from, from the outside, outside but from, from the inside, inside, from the inside. I mean, uh, I know I staying young, young is okay, okay but, but sometimes, sometimes, you know, you know when, when you talk, talk to old people, people but thinking, thinking like a young, young person, person, it's not really normal. You know, yeah, there, there's, there's a way to become older and, and get better, isn't it? Not, not just staying, staying young, young is, is everything, I don't think. Uh, sometimes, sometimes getting old and old and like, like what'd you say? Uh, age like, like fine wine. wine. If, we, if, if there, there is, is a way to become like that, we want to take, take, you know. Yeah. So, so today is going to be the third letter of screw tape letter. Um, I think the first letter, first letter um, is probably the most important letter of the whole book. It's because, it's because that, that first letter, letter the, the, the first letter, letter kind of opened the door and it kind of explains the whole, uh, whole thing, uh, what Satan does in our life, uh, basically. basically. Uh, we all know that Satan exists, right? Yeah? Uh, I mean, living in 21st century, sometimes, especially like a secular society, um, sometimes people have tendency to kind of uh, push away the idea of the existence of Satan. 
But, um, but if you really think about it, if we, if we agree that, that God exists, then there's got to be a Satan. But his existence, his existence is, is hidden, is camouflaged in, in such a way, because he's a king of light, is such a way that many times we don't realize that we are influenced by Satan. Never mind we accept his existence. You know, just, we just, you know, we get deceived by Satan so much. So what Satan does in the first chapter is that somehow he makes human, us, you know, us, um, un, not only unaware of his existence, but also he makes us think in a very foolish way, very uh, illogical way, illogical way. So, um, uh, you know, when you, when you come to church, uh, you know, doing the freedom and all that, you hear a uh, spirit of stupor, right? Uh, I almost said spirit of stupid. <laughs> similar, similar. Spirit of stupor uh, is, uh, is a certain spirit that Satan uses very often. Uh, to, to all human, human beings, beings in that, that it makes us kind of, uh, uh, we, we continue to think, but we think incorrectly. incorrectly. We, we get, get deceived. deceived. You know? yeah. uh, uh, so, so have you ever heard, heard the, uh, um, the, the saying that, that you know, the word does not turn the way that I want to? Is that how you say The word does not turn the way, or the word does not turn out the way, turn out the way. It doesn't turn out the way that I want it, you know? Think about it. Why do we say that? It's because we, we expect certain things would happen, yet that certain thing, thing does not happen, right? So who's right and who's wrong? The word is right or am I right? Is word wrong or am I wrong? If the word doesn't turn out the way that I think or I thought. Who's right and who's wrong? Huh? Yeah, yeah, word, word is, is right, right, and, and I, I was wrong. wrong. But the, the, the you know, yeah, only, only fact, fact is that when I was thinking that, I thought I was right. But, you know, you know the, the whole word, word it, it just happens the way it goes. goes. But, but because, because my logic and my thought was, was, was inefficient or ineffective, I could not predict the way that it was going to happen. So whose fault is it? It's my fault, but, but we, we don't, don't think, think that way. We don't, we don't think, think that. We think, think that, that my thought was correct, but the word somehow went wrong. wrong. You know, but the word cannot go wrong. And that's the basis of the spirit of stupor. It makes us think that, you know, in a certain way, and, and it's not the way. We, we made a mistake. There are, there are many examples, you know, when, when you get married, when you get married, um, we have, we have this, 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 this idea, idea, this, this preconceived notion, notion that when, when a two-person two who are loving together and get married, their, uh, their, their loving, loving relationship will continue to grow. Is that, that right or wrong? That's wrong. But we, you know, I mean, people who are not married here, you know, or who've been married, you know, in, 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 in I guess, um, uh, recently, so we, have we have this idea, idea that our love, loving, loving relationship will continue to grow. But, but it doesn't. doesn't. It, it continues to sour. Continue, continue to sour. Unless, unless, unless you put, you put effort. effort. But, but, you know, you know a, a lot, lot of times, times married, married people, people don't put any effort to make a better relationship. relationship. We, we, we just have this, this, this kind of vague idea that relationship will get better. And it doesn't. It doesn't. So, uh, so uh, these are the things uh, that Satan uses to, to make us confused. So that, you know, you know we, we make, make a mistake. mistake. And, 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 and when, when, when certain, certain things, when, when, you know, our, our, for instance, our marriage gets bad, we kind of think that, what happened? What happened? Or, you know, you know worse, worse, you know, that's, that's your problem. problem. You know, that's because of you. But it's not that. The original problem is that I did not put any Effort, 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 you know, you know because, because I was, I was wrong. wrong. And that's, that's the spirit the of stupor. And and so, so, anyways, uh, uh, many, many a times, times our spiritual walk is, is similar, similar too. 
So have, have you ever, ever uh, have, have you ever, ever seen, seen a person, person who's, who's, who's coming to church, you know, as they age in in a Christian walk, you know, coming, coming to church, church 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, uh, their uh, spirituality goes up and, and you kind of respect them and, and you know they're, you know, men of God or women of God kind of thing. But have you ever noticed uh, people who come to church 10 years, 20 years later, you know, most, Most and they're the same. same. They're the, the same, same or sometimes, sometimes they become worse. And, and, and you, know, you know, you talk to them and you, you think, like, well, you went to church for 20 years? Kind of thing. And, 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 and that's the uh, spirit of stupor. In, 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 I mean, inside, because inside of you not change as the time passes. Anyways, that's the uh, chapter one. Chapter two, uh, it, from, from chapter two and, and to the end of the book, basically, it kind of supports the idea of chapter one, that everybody has been deceived by Satan. This, we, we are constantly uh, in deception by Satan. Okay? In chapter two, uh, basically, the, the principal teaching is that the Christianity doesn't change. But we, because we have spirit of stupor, when we come to church and we see something bad, or we go to group service or, you know, meeting or, you know, and, and we see something bad and we immediately think that uh, Christianity that you guys believe is maybe inferior to the Christianity that I believe because I'm better than you kind of thing. And if you really think about it, that's a stupid idea because Christianity is separate. It is there. It does not matter who worship Jesus. Basically, you know, uh, people who are crappy can worship Jesus. People who are wonderful can worship Jesus. Uh, does Jesus change? It doesn't. But if I go to church and I see some people who are, you know, not so good, and, and I have this feeling that maybe the Jesus that you believe is a little less than Jesus I believe. That's, that's illogical. But, but we, we, we think, think that, that way. way. And that's, that's why, why lots of times people, look, people are looking for a better uh, church. church. You know, you know? Uh, better church, church worse church, church. Jesus, Jesus is the same. same. Okay? Okay? The, the second, second thing that chapter 2 is, is talking about is that uh, whatever, whatever we, we, you know, whenever we go to church and, and, and we worship, um, we feel like because, because I'm here, I'm giving some kind of favor to God. You know, I, I say to myself, oh, because I'm here today, worship God, or praising God, that God somehow owes me a favor. That's, that's the uh, spirit of stupor making us to think. Because, you know, we cannot do anything that really makes him honorable. Because his honor is already up there. In fact, the, the fact, fact that, that I am here, here you are here, here worshiping God, God is really a privilege, isn't it? That I get to be here. But we don't think that way. And, and, and that's the teaching of uh, a second chapter. Now, third chapter uh, is rather, uh, it's rather difficult. It, it was really difficult to uh, convert the letter into a sermon on the third chapter. But I'm going to try my best. So the third chapter is that when, when we come to church, we, we must change, change. But, but our, our inside, inside should change. change. Okay? okay? So, so turn to each other and say, your, your inside, inside should change. change. But, but many, many a times, times, many a times, we focus on the outside, outside too much. much. Then, you know, we become ineffective Christians. Christian. So that's, that's, that's the, um, that's the um, uh, uh, principle uh, teaching, teaching of chapter, chapter three of uh, Screw Tape Letter. Letter. So, so anyways, anyways uh, so, so let's see. see. Um, so, so we, we, we uh, realized that changing outside is really not that important uh, compared to changing inside, right? Uh, how do we change our inside is the teaching of chapter three. Um, so um, looking back, uh, think about your Christian walk. Let's say, 10 years, years ago, ago and now, or, or five, five years, years ago and then now. Uh, uh, is your Christianity, uh, your, your own uh, Christian walk, uh, is, is it better, better about, about the same, same or is it worse? worse? Think, Think about, about it. it. 
Or look at the person sitting next to you and, and, and kind of judge. Is this person better uh, now or worse now than before? Huh? Look at that. Look, look at the person. Huh? Uh, or, um, you know, in, in many, many a times during my uh, marriage seminar, this is the question that I usually ask. When, when was, was the, the best, best time in your marriage? So those, those of you who are married, married try, try to answer this question. question. When, when was, was the best time, time uh, you know, looking back on your entire, entire marriage, when, when was, was the best time? time? Huh? Lots, Lots of times people, people answer, answer, you know, you know thinking kind of logically, say that, oh, honeymoon, honeymoon was, was the best. When you, when you say, say honeymoon, honeymoon was pretty good, honeymoon was the best. Lots of times people say honeymoon is the best. And if you really sit back and think, do you know, you know what, what they are saying? saying? Is that the honeymoon was the best, best and then, then it's, it's getting worse and worse and worse because, because uh, you know, uh, it's, it's getting, getting you know. so, so as, as the time goes, your marriage is getting worse. And, and, and we surely don't, don't want to do that with Christianity, isn't it? We, we want to become, you know, uh, uh, spirit filled more and more. And, and, and how do we do that? So let's look at, let's look at Ephesians chapter 4, verses 22 through 27. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 4, 4 verses 22 through 27. 27. Okay, please read. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor. For we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. Amen. 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 So uh, let's read verse 20. Let me read verse 23. To be made new in the attitude of your mind. In other words, your inside should be uh, renewed. Okay. When you become a Christian, inside should become uh, renewed. Inside. Okay. Um, so, so what, what Satan, Satan does, does is that he does not want us to change from inside. inside. Okay. God, God wants us to change from inside. Satan wants change from the outside. outside. So um, many a times people make mistakes. So I'm, I'm going to talk, uh, you know, assuming that people went down on their spirituality as the time passes and, and find out why they become that way. Why they become that way? So, so first step is that they they make a, a clear distinction between my private life and my spiritual life. If you do that, that's what Satan wants you to do. If you do that, you will become like that. Okay. So let me give you an example. Have you ever uh, gone to? I mean, uh, you know, when, when you learn from school, you, you usually see this this comparison table. It's called T table. It's called you know you. Put a one, one line in there, there and then, then one, one vertical line, line and you say good, good things and bad things. things. You know, you compare, compare right? Uh, uh, many, many times, you know, this is what we end up doing. doing. We, we put, put a spiritual stuff here, here and then, then secular stuuff here. here. We, we separate. separate. Okay? okay, let me, let me give, uh, give you an example. So, you know, because I'm a Christian, I go to church, right? Because I'm a Christian, I I pray. I pray because, because I'm, I'm a Christian, Christian. I pray because, because I'm, I'm a Christian. Christian I, I, huh? I I serve. I serve. You know, you these are the things. things and I read Bible. Bible read Bible. Bible. Okay. But, but because, because I'm, a, you know, I belong to, you know, secular world. I do this and this. And, this. and, and we, we separate. separate. And if you do that, if you do that, a following will happen. You know, you you come to church and 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 because I have to be spiritual, I carry Bible. And, and, and I, I put the Bible, Bible I read Bible, Bible, and I make sure that everybody knows that I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian because these are the spiritual things. And I pray. I pray so that everybody knows that I pray a lot. You know, these are the stuff that is spiritual stuff. But because it is separated, you know, from my secular world, you know, I do all kind of worldly stuff. So um, have you ever heard people coming to our church say, oh, I saw this person in a club yesterday, uh, but now he's here uh, on Sunday? Because it's perfectly logical. Because uh, I have fun, you know, on, on the secular stuff, and then on Sunday I go to 
church because I have to show the spiritual stuff. And, and if you do that, uh, your spirituality will go down. And, you know, 10 years, 20 years ago, when people look at you and say, wow, you, your Christianity is ugly. Mm -hmm. Obviously, obviously. You know, we stop doing that. I mean, we start doing it. Like, like when we pray, when we pray, did you know, uh, have you ever noticed when we pray, uh, probably more than 90% of the time is ineffective. Ineffective. In other words, God does not hear that. Why? Because our mind is completely somewhere else. You know, we're not concentrating, you know. So, but to me, a person who failed in the Christianity, to me, I still say, I pray. I pray 30 minutes. I pray 20 minutes. You know, have you heard people saying, I pray 30 minutes every single day? You know, uh, it's like this. You go to LA Fitness every single day for an hour and you sit there and, and scroll the phone. But, but thinking that I'm going to be healthy because I went to uh, fitness club every day, you know. Same thing with Christianity. Same thing with Christianity. If you come to church and, and or at home, you start praying, you start praying, and, and, and nothing happens. Nothing happens. And but you think you think I pray, I read the Bible. Have you ever seen people uh, making sure that that they are a Christian? You know, like when when we do a trust, yes, it, it is not. It is not uh, uncommon to see. You know, I, I, I told them in the beginning, you don't need to bring Bible, you know. But they have to, they feel like they, they, they are pushed to bring the Bible and put the Bible on the table and listen to lawyer. They feel comfortable doing that. Why? Because they think that doing these things will make him or her a better Christian. It has really nothing to do with you inside. But, but outside, you look like a Christian. So uh, look at the person sitting next to you one more time. Is this a person outside Christian or inside Christian? Mm. Um, it's very difficult, but see, um, you know, eventually what we do will, you know, bear a fruit, bear a fruit. So th that's one thing. The second thing that Satan makes us to do in his deception, in his deception for us to, for us to do is this. When we pray for somebody, when we pray for somebody, if we are actually praying now, not like thinking something else, but when we pray for somebody, we make this great mistake. So let me give you an example. Let's say, you know, you have a parent uh, living somewhere else, like Korea, okay? And they're not Christian. So, so what, what you, you end, end up doing is you, you pray for that person, person you know. Oh, oh God, God, save my father's soul, you know, pray and pray and pray. And pray. Nothing, nothing happens. happens. Nothing happens. And, and you wonder, wonder uh, how come nothing, nothing happens? happens? Doesn't, Doesn't God promise in somewhere in, somewhere in the book of Acts that we live in Jesus Christ, Christ so then you, you and your family, family will be saved, saved. okay? okay? Because, because most, most of the time, time when you pray, pray for somebody, somebody, this is what happens, happens you know. You, know? you put, put up a person, person you put up a person, person your, your mother, mother, your father, your friend, your brother or sister, and then you pray, pray for that person's person soul. And usually, and usually nothing, nothing happens, happens. Okay? okay? But, but you, you become, become kind of disappointed because I will, you know, clearly promise that you believe in Jesus Christ and you and your family will be saved. And this is what we're thinking. Remember the spirit of stupor. This is what we're thinking. If I pray to God for my, let's say, my mother's or my father's soul, then I pray, and then all of a sudden, my father, who's not a believer, or who's walking down, and hit by the Holy Spirit, I believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. Because, you know, and then you say, oh, that's because of my prayer. Now, that does not happen. Would that happen? I mean, that's what we think. That's what we clearly imagine. Imagine. This is what we should pray. Okay? We don't, we don't pray, pray for the soul all the time, all the time for that person. person. We, we pray, pray for that person's really hardship. hardship. Let's just say uh, my mother uh, has an arthritis. You know, say, so, Lord, my mother has an arthritis. Can I help her? How can I help her? And then, Lord, I tell you, oh, you know, help her to clean her room. I help her to clean, you know, whatever that person is going through, the hardship, you you pay, pay attention, attention and you, you, you do, do that, that and pray for them and, and, and does that. that. And, and if, if you, you do that, that eventually, eventually that person will become impressed by you, you wouldn't it? You know? It's, it's, it's like this, this me uh, going, going into an airplane and, and, and I need to make sure, sure that people know that I'm a pastor. So what do I do? 
as soon as I sit down, I put up dinner, and then I put up a Bible. John 3.16. Making sure that it's true that it's in the hands of my Christian. I think, would that do any good? It doesn't do any good, you know? But prayer becomes very inactive and ineffective by Satan. Our spirit of stupor is that we put up this person and we always pray for that person's soul. And that's a great mistake. That's a great mistake. And thinking that God somehow will magically convert that person by my prayer. Okay? Doesn't remember inside. So when I deal with my mother, my father, that, that she would be impressed. Wow, you changed. How come you, how did you change that? Remember changing from the inside. And that's how your family become saved. Because, because you became a Christian, Christian. Because, because your, your inside, inside have changed. Does that, Does that make sense? sense? Well, many, many times we don't think that way. You know, uh, uh, have you ever, have you ever had this this kind of uh, experience? experience? You know, you, you have a, a great big fight with your with your spouse, and then you say, "Oh, I need some break." So you, you walk out of the house, and then you start thinking, oh, "Man, I made a mistake." Uh, I, I want to I wanna go back and make up with my wife, in, in my case, okay? And then, um, you know, I, I make up my mind, I'm going to make up, I'm going to make up, I'm going to make up. And as soon as I'm walking, within about five seconds, I blow up. Have you ever had that? You know, even though I had this, this intense desire that I want to make up. Do you know why it happens? It's because, remember when I'm walking around, I'm, I'm, I'm praying, praying for my wife. Praying for my wife. And this is what I'm praying, you know. God, can you please forgive my wife? You know, she pissed me off. Uh, please forgive me. You know, she said this, and then I just make me so mad. But please help her. Please help her. And then, you know, you hear the voice saying that, okay, you know, you make up your mind and, and go make up with your wife. And then walk in. And I'm even more angry. To the moment that I see her, and that's the spirit of stupor. The spirit of stupor. Because when we pray, when we pray, we really need to pray what we ought to pray. Okay? It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of effort to pray what to pray for. For instance, you know, if you are praying for your wife, you're praying for a wife, uh, this is what we should look for. What did I do wrong to make her angry? Okay? What did I do wrong so that she become angry at me. What is the fault of me? Okay, you look, you are looking for fault of your own. And that's something that you could change, isn't it? Okay, but because we have this spirit of stupor, even though when we are praying, we make a mistake. We make a mistake. Now, <clears throat> um, the, the other kind of prayer is following. Um, when I pray for my wife, and I pray for my wife, uh, I, I make a certain noticeable things that she does all the time and then asking God to forgive her. So as you all know, my wife has a bad habit, bad habit of um, saying no, no, no. Uh, you know, it, it's just one no would be sufficient, but she, she would be saying three no's. You know, no, no, no. And every time I hear that, uh, somehow it makes me angry thinking that she uh, she, ha she has this disrespect for me. I, I don't know. Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? You know, when, when, when my wife says, no, no, no. It, it, I don't hear no, no, no. I hear you're stupid. That's what I hear, you know? And so what I, what I pray is that, God, can you please help her not to say no, no, no to me? And I spend my time praying, and guess what? When she said, no, 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 it, it really turns me off. And that's a wrong kind of prayer, okay? So how do we, how do we avoid these kind of mistakes? Well, uh, let's, let's think carefully. Have you ever heard people saying that when you go to church, you know, you do it, you do a balanced uh, Christianity? You do, uh, how do you say, you, you, you do a... Uh, Balance, you balance or not, not too much. Okay. Uh, have you ever thought why people say that? It's because of following. 
you know, most of the time, people who are saying those things uh, used to be a Christian, a good Christian. Okay? But what happened is, because of all these inept, ineffective Christianity, what they have experienced in Christianity is following. When they came to church and did prayer, had the time to pray, and do all these things, it did not turn out the way they expected. Obviously, because they are not doing the correct way. Does that make sense? Because when they, you know, they did, a pr- they did spend time in prayer, they did you know, spend time reading the Bible, and they're expecting certain things would happen, but it did not happen. Was it, whose fault is it? Remember the, you know, the word and the my thinking? It is my thinking was wrong, not the word, right? So when they, when they walked the Christianity in their own way for a long time, what eventually they make up in their mind is that Christianity does not work. Christianity does not work. So they make this conclusion, since Christianity does not work, you don't have to do it so you know, so strong. Or you don't have to go into it so gone home because it's not going to work. As if, like, um, you know, you study two hours for your exam and got C. Okay, so next time you study five hours, then you got C. What would you do next time? Study for 10 hours? No, it's not, because if you study for two hours, you get C. If you study for five hours, you would expect maybe B or A, but you got C. So next time, let's just say you study for 10 hours and you got C, and then you eventually make this, this conclusion. No use studying. So you don't study at all and you get B. And then you think, oh my goodness, my, my study is no good. So it's better for me to not study. That's a lot of times Christianity, you know, people say that. You say, oh, I've been there, I've done that. You know, you just, you just do it moderately and then you'll be better. Because, because they, they went, went through, through that kind, but, but they, they don't, don't realize, realize they went through the spirit of stupor. Because, because when, when they are doing that, they did it ineffectively. Ineffectively. So uh, these are the things that Satan uses. One more ineffective Christianity. I want to give you an example in, in, the, in the chapters at three is that when you want to make a, a certain relationship with your family member, you know, yeah, if you, you live long, long enough with a certain people, uh, long enough, you, you pick, pick up this this, um, this negative uh, 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 facial expressions, negative facial expressions that, that you, you can you can only tell and think that she is doing that intentionally. So let me give you in my my family since my wife is not here, I gave another example when she was there in KM. But since not she's not here, um, so you know when we kiss, uh, this she responds in in my keen observation, uh, she does in, in two responses. When she's in a good mood, in a loving mood, she strengthens her lips when we kiss. You know. But uh, when, when, when she's, she's, she's in a bad mood, mood she's, she's kind of pissed off at me, you know, especially. especially. When, when we kiss, she, she just, just kind of let go, just, just complete, complete relaxation. relaxation. Just. <laughs> and then, and then, you know. You know. And, and when, when she, she does, does that, that, it makes me so upset. upset. Because, because I have I this intention to make up. up. But, but she responds in a negative way. Then, then what, what I, I usually, usually say, say to myself, myself is, I give up. I give up. She does she it again. again. So, so one day I asked her, do you really do that? Do you, do you have a distinction in your a kissing way? You know? And guess what she said? She said, no, I don't. No, I don't. And, and guess what? It was all my own personal drama that I made up. That I made up. And each time she... So it's, so it's a, a complete, complete breakdown of, of communication. communication. <coughs> but we do that all the time. Look, Look at the, the person, person sitting next to you and think of the things that he or she does that makes you upset. It, it, there, there are certain, certain things, things, isn't it? The, the way that, that, that she tells you something, the way, the way that she moves her expression. expression. We, we all have that. that. We, we all have that. that. Only the problem, problem is, is I am the only one who thinks that it is true. 
the other person may not have no idea what they're, they're doing. But we do that, that's another way of Satan making us hating each other. By doing that, by we doing that, what happens is that our inner person does not change. And that's why, have you ever seen a person who, who's come to church for five years, 10 years, and they are all the same. Their spiritual walk is all the same. And, and you wonder, how come that person who's come to church regularly on Sunday, you know, read Bible, prays, and, and they don't change? The reason is because they are doing this Christianity in a wrong way. In a wrong way. The right way is our inside should change. Turn to each other and say that. Your inside should change. Because outside is really not that important. You know, people get old, we become ugly. You know? it's all, have you noticed that people are same as plants? You know, in my house, I have orchid. I, I grow orchid, you know, and I, I found out two things about orchid as you know, I raised orchid for several years is that, you know, young orchids are beautiful. When the orchid became older, uh, it's not so beautiful. It has tendency to twist you know, in their body uh, and, and it becomes, it becomes ugly. So, so, so I have, I have a bunch, bunch of orchids, orchids in my backyard, backyard in my backyard, and, and it's, it's been, been there for over two years, years and it grows really well, but it's old orchids. So, so their flowers are kind of, you know, you know it's, it's, so, I mean, mean it's, 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 it's younger, younger orchids, orchids are better. Are better. You know, that's, that's the, the outside. outside. The second thing that I found out about plant is that if you ignore them for two weeks, they'll die, just like human relationship. You have to talk to them every day, <laughs> I, you know, you have, sometimes you have to touch them. If you touch and talk to them, they grow well. But if you ignore them for two weeks, you know, and, and that's what I, I learned. You know, any kind of relationship with a living being, it needs effort to build up the relationship, isn't it? Lots of times people coming to church have the same idea. If you just come to church every week, my Christianity or my Christianity would somehow magically will grow. And it doesn't. It does not grow. In fact, the more you come to church with a wrong idea because of spirit of stupor, your spirituality will go down and down and down. And Satan loves that. Satan gives us this spirit of stupor and watch us gradually go down and become a colder and colder. We call it backsliding Christian, and they love it. The, way, the reason why we go down is because Christianity does not turn out the way that I expected or I wanted. How does that happen? Because of the spirit of stupor, our idea is wrong. So what should we do from now on? When we pray, when we pray, we pray this way. It is good, it is okay to pray for certain person's salvation. That's nothing wrong with that. However, a lot more time when you spend time in praying for somebody, you really pray for that person's everyday's uh, life and difficulties. You know, everybody going through a hard time. Aren't you going through a hard time? Turn to each other and ask them, aren't you going through a hard time? Mm. We are all going through hard times. You know, there's one big problem with that, is that I do not understand what you are going through. That's the big problem. Uh, I don't know if you uh, saw that, the video that I sent out, the husband and wife, remember that? Have you seen that? You know, husband is, 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 is above the cliff trying to save the wife, but he's under the big rock. A wife is trying to climb up on, on her husband's hand, but there's a snake right in between them. But the only problem is husband does not realize that the snake is hindering her. She does not realize there's a rock on top of him hindering him. We are all both expecting, why don't you do some more to each other? You know, can you put a little bit more effort? Then you'll be able to save me. That's misunderstanding of each other. 
Yeah? yeah? Because, because we don't, don't know what, what the other, other person, person is going through. Going, going through. through. And, and because, because of that, that we, we just pray, pray for that, that person's soul. soul. But, but in, in order, order to understand, understand, in order to find out what, what the other person is going through, through it, it takes, takes effort. It takes effort. But because we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. So we don't pay attention. We just pray. As if prayer is like a magic. But... Um, but we, we need, need to spend, spend time and effort to find out what do you think? What kind of hardship are you going through? In order to do that, you have to really care for that person. What do you mean? You know, that's what we need to do. Number two, number two, when we do pray, when we do pray, find out what you are doing wrong first. Amen? But many a times, it, you know, because, because of sp spirit of stupor, it, 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 it is so, so much that the other person is making so much mistake. mistake. We're thinking, you know, you know I cannot I see my own mistake. mistake. Or the worst, worst case is, yes, I am not perfect, perfect so, so I make mistake, mistake, but you make more mistake. mistake. You know, you know that's, 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 a, that's, that's a that's a great mistake. mistake. Never, Never mind the other person's uh, mistake. You know, have you heard, you know, uh, look at the uh, plank in your eye before you see that? You know. I mean, we don't do that enough. We don't do that enough. We look at inside of us and find out what is wrong with me first. If I find my, myself what is wrong with me first and try to correct that, then so many good things will happen. Really, one, one of the things, things in my personal experience is that I told you for for all, all my life, life I, I thought I was I, I, I was romantic man, romantic husband. For maybe 15, 20 years of my marriage, I thought I was romantic. But the more I see it, I, I far from romantic. I mean, we talk about it in our lunchtime with Yerim and Joy. You know, Yerim says, you know, I am not romantic at all. How do I know? Because I don't care about my, my wife enough. enough. You know, you know I, I, I see movies that uh, real romantic men. Uh, have you seen a, a, a movie uh, called uh, Woman in Red in, in, uh, with Richard Gere? Uh, do, you, do you know that movie? Oh, Pretty Woman. Pretty, was it a Pretty Woman? Pretty Woman? Pretty Woman? Pretty, uh, pretty woman? Is it pretty woman? <laughs> when I see those kind of movies and I say, oh, you know, I realize, I realize now that, that I have never done that. Never done that. that. Never never done that. that. I, have I have never, never given my wife a flower, never, never given her a birthday, birthday present, present, never given any, you know. Yeah. And say, I'm, I am not. A, the, the more, more you look at it, it there's, there's, a, there's a good, good thing uh, when, when you, you look, look at yourself, yourself is following. following. You, you get, get to change your own self. Now I realize I'm not romantic. and I try to do something for my wife, at, at least something, and, 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 and by miracle, she notices that. She, she notices when I try to do certain things, she notices, and that's how you change yourself, by looking at your own inside, inside. So third one, third one is, uh, remember when you, uh, you should remember, when you converse with your loved one, your, your, you know, your wife, your husband, um, always, always think, think this way. way. I, I do not, not know what she's thinking. thinking. She, she does, does not know what I'm thinking. thinking. Therefore, Therefore, I need to be very careful what, what I say. say. Okay? So let me give you an example. Uh, uh, this, this might be a little Asian, Asian but uh, uh, some, some of you, uh, most, most of you might, might understand this. this. I, I, I could not uh, come up with American example. So, so let's just say, say you've been married, married for about five, five years, years, okay? So, so you, you know, you live with your husband and wife together. together. And then and uh, your mother-in-law mother and father-in-law father lives, lives, you know, uh, maybe, maybe 20, 20 minutes away, away. Okay? okay? So, so one, one day, day your mother-in-law uh, asks ask you, oh, come and, uh, uh, come and pick, I made some kimchi, and so come and pick it up. So in other words, come and visit me. That's what she's saying. So, so you, you ask, ask your husband, your husband so, oh, uh, honey, honey, your, your mother, mother asked ask us to uh, come, come and pick up the um, you know, kimchi, so, so let's, let's go, go together. together. So, oh, okay. okay, so, so they, they go, go together. together. So, so you drive 20, uh, 20 minutes and, and you go there, yes. and then and she, she gives, gives you, oh, this is a kimchi that I made, take it. But since you are here, I want you to eat dinner with me. 
So you say, oh, okay. So you, both of you end up eating dinner with your mom, and your mom, uh, I mean, his mom, his mom uh, makes this dinner uh, with 35 dishes, you know? Uh, so she, she has, you know, galbi and you know, all this kimchi jjigae and the whole thing. And, and your husband starts eating, and it's really good, you know, it's good. And all of a sudden, he says this, he says, wow, this is a real meal. You know, so, so this is a real, mom, this is a real meal. This is really a home cooked meal. I mean, it, it just blurred it out, you know. So, what do you say as a wife? You say, oh, yeah, oh, ma, this is really good, mom. You know, uh, thank you, thank you. So, when you're coming back, uh, you know, he's driving and his, you know, wife is sitting next to her. And then uh, she says this, uh, say, oh, well, we don't need to eat at home from now because we don't, we don't have a real meal. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean, so, so the, husband the husband driving is all of them, huh? <laughs> he doesn't understand what went on, you know, you know? he said, what the, I said, like, what? And then, and then he, he says this, you know, I don't know what's, what's wrong with you, you know? every time you go to my mom's house, you get mad. <laughs> now, listen, listen to this conversation, conversation very carefully, carefully because, because none, none of these people understand what's going on. And in fact, there's one thing they do understand, he said, they are, they are saying, saying certain things in, in, in a packaged way, way in a very inflammatory remark, but in a such a way that if you write it on the paper, it does not inflammatory. It does not look like an inflammatory. It's called packaging, you know, so you package it and, and throw it at the person. Uh, this is what happened in, in this bad kind of relationship. The Jews say something, package something, you know, a, an inflammatory remark in a packaged way and throw it at it, and you are surprised when the other person take it as inflammatory. So I didn't say that. I just said, you know, we don't need to eat anymore. Your mom's cooking, you know. And you go, what? I don't like the tone of your voice, you know. And, and they start going back, and that's how you get into fight. Okay? Third, Third thing, thing is you get more mature in Christianity. This, this is why you look at inside of you and, and change yourself that packaging itself is not a good idea. So you start, you stop doing packaging. You say what is good, you say what is edifying, you say what is honorable. Okay? Because Satan, Satan is working between two of you to make you know, whole thing just kaput, isn't it? Now, the worst thing is once you have that kind of relationship going on, either at church or either at home, the whole prayer life, the whole Christianity for you is crumbling down. It is really nearly impossible for you, for me, to come to church and pray after having a big fight with my wife. Nobody knows. Nobody knows that we had a big fight. Nobody had, had to know, nobody, nobody will know, know, you know. You know? But, but when, when I, I sit and start praying, all my Christian activity became ineffective, ineffective isn't it? And, and that's, that's what Satan wants. wants. Satan sometimes kind of sort of like that you are going to church. He kind of sort of like that you are Christian. Because many a times it is easier for him to give us spirit of stupor inside of the church than outside, you know? Because inside we have this discomfort that I came to church, that I read Bible, that I pray. So it's going to be enough for God to work for me, kind of thing, as if God owes me some favor, just because I came to church today. It does not, does not. And that's why many a time Satan likes the fact that we come to church. So in order to make it really well, remember, seriously, you need to sit back and think, am I doing this right? Is, is my heart really in it? Is my heart really in it for me to change? And that's called repentance. And without that sincere self um, um, uh, Self-examination, Christianity is really difficult, really difficult. So I want all of us, all of us to think that what am I doing in the church? What, what, am, I, what am I trying to get 
coming to church, is this just a simple comfort or for me to grow in Christianity? Is Jesus really my Lord and Savior? Is, if Jesus is really my Lord, am I ready and willing to obey his command? And his command today is, you should change inside, not outside. Outside really does not matter. Amen? Um, I, have a, I have a bucket list. Before I die, I want to do a few things. I want to do a few things. And, and one of the things I want to tell you, uh, I, re I really want to do this. And, and if you agree with me, and if you want to, uh, if you want to, fulfill my bucket list, uh, I want to do this uh, with you. One thing. Do you know what that is? Are you curious? Uh, I want to put a CCTV in your living room. You know, the ways that I can watch? I don't, I don't want to put it in your bedroom. I, I'm not a pervert. I don't want to put it in your uh, bathroom. I want to put it in your living room. You know why? So I want to know what you are doing at home. Are you a Christian at home? Or are you only Christian in the church? Let's pray. My Lord, thank you so much for saving us, giving us an opportunity to know you and giving us a privilege to walk this walk. But so many times now I realize that I have walked on a wrong path, making so many mistakes, but yet expecting so much and get disappointed at you many a times because the world did not turn, turn out the way that I expected. And as we, as we get older and older in this Christian world, are we getting better or are we getting worse? If we are getting worse, would you please give us a chance, an ability to look at our own selves and realize what we are doing wrong and try our utmost to change. And if we change from inside, that our outside will automatically change. That as we age with Christianity, we will become a better Christian. Lord, as we, as we come to you, we give you our offering. Sometimes I wonder, are we giving it with our heart? Are we giving it without our heart? Lord, may we give what we get from you, a portion of it, and give it unto you with our heart, inside. And may you bless it. May you truly bless every person in this room today. And many of us who are giving tithing, as you have promised, may you just give us it's a blessing, not only an eternal blessing, the blessing on this world too. Thank you, and I pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen.